Imagine this situation. You open up your mailbox, you've got an email about digital communication supervision work. You look again and you've got some eBay auction item. You look again and you've got a friend request from someone you've never met before. <laughs> look again, you've got some farm bills thing, you've got some sky stock, you've got some more talks, you've got some more supervision work. It was something about the central bank of Nigeria. <laughs> Who wants to read emails like this? And the answer is no one. So today, we're introducing new ways to manage your email. Today, we're introducing the iPro. <laughs> so the iPro would read the emails for you, manage them for you. It would categorize them and suggest likely categorization for each email. That way you can say which emails are important, which emails are not, and leave them for later to read them afterwards. So just to show you how, how simple yet very powerful our algorithm is, I'm going to invite Laurie here. Hi. <laughs> so the key thing is um, you don't want a time saver that takes you more time to use than uh, just reading emails. So the key function is comparing two emails to one another. So we look at things like uh, the, who it's from and who it's to and who it's CC2, and we have a score that uh, adapts as we go through. So the lower the score, the more similar the emails are. We take things like keywords, number of paragraphs out of uh, the body of text and subject, till we get a final score. Uh, 17 emails, that's pretty similar. So what do we actually do with this? Because I have more than two emails in my inbox. Um, well, we, we have a load of emails, and what we do is we put them on a graph where every edge is the, uh, the score we've just given it. So, we take the, something which is essentially the minimum spanning tree of this graph, which gives us uh, this shape. Now, what we do is, in this picture, we've rearranged it so the edges are proportional to their weight. We can start to see the uh, categories coming out, but how does iPro know? So what iPro does is uh, cuts the tree at the longest edges. So they're the long edge, get rid of it. Still not funny categories. Okay, so this was a lone email. We cut the edge. And it's not in a category. There's not enough emails there to be a category. So we, uh, we store it on its own. And the same with these two down here. So they're uncategorized emails. Now you can see the uh, emails have come out and are in categories. Wonderful. So what happens when a new email comes in? So we get a new email. And we don't want to have to compare it to every single email again. So we store sort of category metadata that allows us to quickly compare to each category and go, all right. This is in this category. So there we go. So here's an example of our user interface. We chose uh, Columba, which is an open source Java email client. Um, we mainly chose it because it's written in Java, a language we all know. We didn't have a long time to learn new languages and new clients and things. So on the left, you've got automatically created folders. And we're in one folder right now. It's about supervision work. Now, I want to show you another cool feature of iPro. It let's you uh, have suggested responses. We go to the email, we type, Thanks for your supervision work. You might type this 10, 15 times a day. And then we go to reply to a similar email. iPro suggests a reply already. So you don't have to waste all your time typing these common, boring replies to do all this. <laughs> right. So in the future, because iPro is so uh, flexible, it's not linked in with uh, Columba. That's just a demonstration. We could use it with Gmail, like a Google gadget, or Yahoo Mail, Windows Live, other things like that. But also, it's got applications in service-oriented businesses, such as Amazon or eBay, because they might get the same customer uh, request every day, and they need to have people who can send this response out time and time again. So the suggested response would learn, send a response, done. So um, you can go download our Columbra implementation of iPro right now today, try it out, and I encourage you to do so. Uh, thanks for your time, thanks for listening.